Okay, so I have my Samsung Galaxy S6 here and my Samsung Galaxy S7. You can see they have the always on display on my S6. And let me just show you, this is my S7 here. And this is my S6. Now I'm using an app that is fairly new. Let me show you what it can do. I mean, obviously if it's in your purse or in your pocket, I mean, it's gonna come off. The screen's gonna totally turn off. Now to turn the screen on, I mean, you can put, press the power or the home button here. Uh, if you want to, you can also um, press the power button for it to come on. Now check this out. This is what I really like about this, this always on display app, okay? I don't have to use any buttons to turn it on, to turn the screen on. I can simply do this, double tap. Now you can't do that with the S7, so I think it's a great feature because, you know, if you're constantly pressing your home button or power button, there's times where down the road it can break. Your home button can break or your power button can break. So I think this is a great feature. Uh, let me go ahead and go and show you uh, this app here. So you, if you want to download it, you go to your <coughs> Google App Store here. And... It's called uh, Always On Display from S7, as well as the G5 phone. That's what the icon looks like. Let me open this up. Now, this is a fairly new uh, app. So, I mean, if you go into like your uh, clock settings here, you only have four templates, okay? So you have uh, digital, uh, gear, S2, calendar, and the one that I'm using is uh, Galaxy S7 clock. So I'm sure within a few more weeks, you're gonna have a lot more uh, templates but you can see the uh, templates here. Here's a Gear S2. It looks very generic to me. And I mean, for myself, I'm fine with the, uh, the Galaxy S7 clock template because all I need is the time, the date, and a battery percentage, and that's all I need. And here's the uh, calendar template. And also what you can do too is you can, uh, if you go into notification settings, you can actually show your notifications as well, even show your notifications content, and then you're, you know, you're able to like resize like the text and the numbers here. You can even change some of the background colors. Um, so yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. And you can see the notifications would be uh, like down here, down here. And that's pretty much it. Any questions or anything, just comment below. All right, thanks, bye.